Hey guys, it's from Snape here again. And in this video, we're gonna talk about Good Friday and actually with the kind of things that led up to Good Friday. And um, I hope y'all are having a great week. I know we're stuck at home and it's really rough. Make sure you're not driving your parents crazy pants and make sure we're making good choices for Miss Napier, okay? Cause I miss you guys so much and I know that it's rough being stuck in the house all the time, okay? Um, what we're gonna talk about in this video is the things that led up to Jesus dying on the cross for us. And um, in this video, we also wanna talk about um, somebody that had betrayed him. One of his disciples, Judas, betrayed him and he actually took money from the king to give Jesus' whereabouts to the police and they went and they got him and they arrested Jesus and they put him in jail. And um, so the part of the story that I'm fixing to read is right after he got arrested, okay? And there's a lot of uh, questions on why they're doing what they're doing to him and what's going on. So hopefully this will give us a little bit. Here's a picture of what we're first starting with and you can see all the mad people here okay so uh lots of people love jesus but there were many who didn't like him at all which is really kind of crazy but you know sometimes people had their mini pants on back in those days right after jesus was captured in the garden he was taken to the house of the high priest then to the pilot the roman governor of judea okay so this is Pontius Pilate that we're talking about. All night, the rulers asked Jesus if he was the son, God's son. They did not believe that he was. Finally, Pilate said that he didn't think Jesus was guilty, but the people who hated Jesus kept yelling into the pil in, until Pilate decided that Jesus had to die on the cross. So even Pontius Pilate didn't think that Jesus deserved to die on the cross, but he had to listen to all the people. So it's really hard sometimes when you're being pressured into something that you have to do, okay? Jesus told everybody he was God's son, but nobody believed him. And some of these people hadn't seen the miracles that he had worked. So this next part is where we're get it, getting up to where he's going to the cross for us to die, okay? And I know this is a little sad, but let's remember that on Sunday, he's resurrected, okay? Here's the picture of the journey to the cross for Jesus, okay? In this one, Pilate uh, soldiers took Jesus and they put a crown of thorns on his head and made fun of him. Those are definitely mini pants. Then they led Jesus out of the city to the place called Golgotha to be killed on the cross. Mm. At nine o'clock in the morning, the soldiers nailed Jesus to the cross. They also put two robbers beside Jesus, one on the right and one on the left. Okay, guys, so this is when this is when Jesus died for us. This is when all of our sin started to cover him. All of our sin started to cover him, and we were washed clean of it, okay, with his blood that he sacrificed on the cross for us. All right, guys, I love you so much. I really hope that you got your coloring sheet. This is where we're at right here, okay? And um, so Miss Stephanie should have emailed this one to your parents so they could print it out so you can color and I want to pray with you guys real quick, okay? So, prayer hands together, and let's go to prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for sending us your one and only Son to die for our sins. We love you. And everybody said, Amen. All right, good job, guys, and I love you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.